All right, Charlie. I think uh, when I, I put on Twitter the reason, like what we're doing today, defensemen and goalies, mm-hmm. this is the one everyone's – I mean, yeah, like Oliver Bonk is interesting, but we kind of know what's going to happen with Bonk probably. Yeah, um, it's probably going back. Yeah. Andre, For we've more seen. Year. We're excited about one day. Maybe he you know, has a great camp. Alexi he's in the Cole. mix. He's yeah. in the mix. He's in the mix. But again, they have like seven, eight defensemen already. Right. Um, Alexi Kolasov is the guy. Like, he's the number one. I think he was the first storyline on a daily, uh, Flyers Daily today. Mertidis did like his top, I think, 10 storylines going into training camp. Okay. And his number one, like the first thing he said was like, well, is he coming? <laughs> And that's 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 the thing here with Kolosov. And when you asked Brent Flair, and we'll get to the is he coming part, but so much about just the play of Alexi Kolosov, what type of goalie they think he is. Well, I wanted to ask him because based on what we've been hearing from the Flyers organization for the last couple of weeks, it's Kolosov is wants to go back another year and be loaned again. And the Flyers opinion, number one, it's like you're on an entry level contract. You're going to spend two thirds of the entry level contract playing for somebody else. That's BS, which fair. But the other part, and this is the part they have communicated both um, both publicly and privately, is that they think it will hurt his development to go back, or at least it won't help his development. That the best thing for his development is to come over and learn the North American game. So I wanted, I had Brent Flair. I wanted to try to get him on the record to explain why the Flyers feel like it is so important to his development to come over to North America now rather than get another year in the KHL and maybe come over in year three of that ELC. That was the that was the question. He took it in an interesting direction after answering the question. He basically said to me it was like, without saying we think he might be our best goalie, he was like, this dude is close to the NHL and we want to get our hands on him. Right. Close to the NHL, first of all, like, oh, well, we have two starters locked up. Yeah. We think he's probably better than them. That's what I read from his answer. And just, I got excited by the idea. Uh, Like, they're clearly pumping his tires. And maybe they just think he's this good. Like, seems like a lot of effort. Seems like a lot of effort to put in for a guy you don't think can play. I've said this about John Tortorella when John Tortorella did his thing about the uh, the Gautier Hayes stuff. I was like, it's possible for something to be both sincere and calculated. Yes. I think this, this... Respect for Kolosov as a prospect is sincere, but it is also calculated that they're putting out in public about how great they think he is. Very complimentary, very high on his NHL upside, very high on his timeline to the NHL, given you know everything works out contractually. So you asked, can you reveal any new information regarding Kolosov and whether he'll be coming over and attending camp this month? Yeah, I hope so. I know Danny and his agent have spoken the last few days. This was last week. So we'll see where it goes. Yeah. That is a very non-committal maybe. (laughs) Here's what I'll say. Possibly. Here's what I'll say. And I don't know one way or the other whether Kolosov is going to show up. What I can say is that he isn't in KHL camp. So that seems like a good sign. If he was really dead set on doing this, I'm staying in Minsk. I'm staying in in, in Belarus, staying in the KHL. You would think he would have been a even if it was a informal participant in their camp he apparently isn't he's not there so i don't think the door is anywhere near shut what i'll say is that when i went in this line of questioning with brent flair i was expecting him to no comment me i really was i I was expecting flair to be like sorry i can't answer any questions about this it's an ongoing situation that was more or less what he did a lot of when i would do the series with him about mitchkoff before everything i'd be like brent you know I got to ask this because I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. Any way you can get him out of this contract yeah. early, and it would be no comment. I remember you telling me at the time, it was like, listen, man, I asked. Yeah. But, like, he's not going to say. Yeah. Even if he knows. Yes. They don't want to. And that's not what he said here. He was willing to go on the record. And in two answers that he easily could have no comment at both, I thought it was interesting. He gave legitimate answers to both. It leads me to believe that, well, I don't think they know for sure whether he's coming or not. I think they are at least hopeful. I think that they they do not believe the door is shut on him showing up for camp, which is going to be next week. Can we, like, man, it's just, we got Zamula, we got Mishkov, 
We got Fedotov. They're all hanging out. They're in hot tubs in the Rocky Mountains. They're at the U.S. Open. It seems like fun, dude. Maybe maybe you want to join your countrymen. Come have a good time over here. There's, there's a lot to see and do. Mishkov's in New York, seeing Times Square. I bet you he could use a pal. Uh, you know? Uh, this is... Them being so high on him. Like, this was, to me, Kolosov is like, well... Here's another loss. We're just taking another L on this one, and maybe it was out of their hands. There's nothing he could do. He's just a kid who feels the way he feels. But now that like I'm reading Brent Flair say, oh, we like him. We think he's close to the NHL. I'm like, get him here then. And there's, I am very much looking forward to the first day of camp when he just shows up. Like that's gonna be so. It nice. would be that the would be funny, so the nuts. funniest outcome. The funniest, re- the funniest, and- the funniest way to that's resolve this is if he shows up and then gets up in front of the media and just like lies to everyone's face. Uh-huh. And he's like, "No, nah, I was always coming. Yeah. I don't know where these rumors came from." And everyone knows it's BS. He has flyer, but, but it would be so fun. He has a brand new flyers tattoo, <laughs> <laughs> like across his chest. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the Alexei Kolosov thing, and. We just won't know until it happens. Like that's what it's that's what it's coming down to. Is camp's going to open? Well, I would assume if he flies over here, probably someone, whether it's me or another one of the beats, yeah. is going to find out in some way, and then it'll be reported. We, I don't think it's going to be like, oh, we walk in on the day one, and it's like, well, is he here or is he not? I think it'll probably be out before then, but it might not be out a lot or is it, sooner. Is it going to be like Dev Camp, where it's like, well, he has a plane ticket. <laughs> The flight took off. <laughs> he ain't on it. Oh my god! Uh, oh, what, a, what a mess. This organization, man. Like, how are we gonna do a, a show every day? How do we not do two shows a day? Exactly. Sometimes I exactly. really, I really wonder. We all silly like the mayor. 